Where are you going today? Dallas, Texas. What are you going to do there? Just visit my daughter, my son-in-law, my two grandsons. Oh, we're headed out to Washington State to uh, see the Olympic National Park. We are going to uh, Taipei. We're going through southwest England, mostly. Well, I'm heading to uh, Okinawa. We're going home to Los Angeles. I'm going home, India. Every type of person going every place in the world, all attempting to get there the fastest way and the safest way. That's what aviation is. The people of moderate circumstances can travel today all over the world. I think it's terrific. I don't think I'll ever understand what makes an airplane stay up in the air, but... <laughs> Oh, the great trouble is that we get so used to these things. We don't think of it as a miracle anymore. But of course it is. You look at the designs of the planes and it all looks so ridiculous. But there you are, you get on the plane and you're terribly annoyed if the plane is as much as five minutes late. Not so long ago, there was no such thing as a jetliner, but now flying at 600 miles an hour seems hardly more remarkable than riding a bus. Although our Pratt & Whitney people make the engines for most of the world's jetliners, we're not showing you this to sell you jet engines. We're showing you Dulles because technology is our business. And this technology has brought our world closer together. The space is shrinking, there's no question about it. As technology progresses down the road, and of course we haven't seen anything yet compared to what our children and grandchildren will eventually see. I'm convinced of that. So are we, because we believe that technology is a continuing response to the needs of life. We're United Technologies Corporation.